icon who was finishing his Formula One career just as Piquet started his. In the next few weeks, we're going to find out a great deal more about the talent that was James Hunt. He died exactly 20 years ago. There's a big new feature film coming out called Rush, which tells the amazing story of that 1976 World Championship battle against Nicky Lauda. And here at Goodwood, we've got an oil painting that's been unveiled to commemorate the 20th anniversary of his death. And it's welcome to David Hunt, James's brother, and also to Tom, James's son. And uh, I have to say, the likeness uh, is pretty striking. Uh, do you approve of the picture first? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. No, we're, we're very pleased with it. Um, I don't think it could have gone any better, to be honest. It captures a bit of the spirit of your father, I think. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I think we chose Paul Oz, really, in the first place. I think his style's kind of pretty different, expressive, um, and he seems to be pretty good at yeah, capturing the essence of someone's personality. So um, we think he's done a fantastic job with Dad. Um, really, really pleased with it, and um, I'm pleased that it's sort of going to the foundation. And you're going to be working hard, really sort of lifting the profile and helping raise money for charity uh, in James's name. Um, what do you think, David, is, is the, the current public impression of the sort of personality that James was? I think the current impression is probably the slightly more tabloid end of it, which is the girls, the booze and the bad behaviour, as well as the, the skills and success on track. And I hope that what we can do is also bring out the other side of James, which was the very intelligent man, the witty guy, all of that side of it, which perhaps hasn't been picked up by the media over the years because it's not quite so exciting. You know, he was James Hunt the racer, as, as most people know, him back in the 70s, but at the same time, you know, he was an amazing father and, and as Dave said, incredibly intelligent. And, and actually, I think that came across in his, uh, in his commentary. I worked with him for quite a few years, and uh, he was exactly that. Now, in terms of the activities you're going to be doing, what sort of other things will be going on in James's name? Um, well, to start with, we've launched the first official uh, collection of apparel. We're also setting up uh, the James Hunt Foundation, uh, which is going to um, raise money throughout the year through uh, sales of the collection, which then my brother and I and the co-trustees of the foundation will decide on uh, causes to donate the, the money to each year. Have you had a chance to see the film for men? Any impressions? Are they going right? Yes. Are they going wrong? Uh, we're really pleased with it. We had a Hunt family viewing in April, so that was a big test for them. Obviously, every member of the family would probably have tweaked it here or there, but for the, for the people who are the, the mass movie audience who are going to see this for the first time, I think it's going to be very impressive. I remember um, coming out of the cinema after watching it. I mean, I was literally speechless. Um, but, you know, on, on so many levels, you know, it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But, yeah, it was, it was definitely a, a weird one, uh, to put it mildly. Well, we are really looking forward to seeing the film in the meantime to both of you. Good luck with all things James. Thanks very, very much. Thank you very much.